Ce truc d'être euh, en solitaire. This thing about being alone, on a small optimist at first and then on bigger boats, I've always enjoyed it. And voilà, I started sailing on dinghies and I've ended up sailing single-handed on big boats. I was born in Brittany. I'm not from a sailing family, but my father gave me a taste of being at sea with the family cruises every summer. And then I started to sail Optimus when I was seven or eight years old. I sailed dinghies when I was a kid. Optimus, Moth, mostly single-handed boats. I like the fully crewed boats too. When I got older, I sailed fleet races on Figaro's and First Class 8's. I sailed on all the boats I could. Then I concentrated mostly on the Figaro class. For almost 10 years non-stop, it's really the defining part of my career. I sailed on an Imoka boat for the first time with Vincent Rieu on PRB in 2003. It was the round Britain race. We then sailed a double-handed race the Transat Jacques Vaux. I discovered that sailing in the Mocha 60 also involved a lot of technical research and development on the boats, something I was less familiar with in the Figaro and in my other sailing. You also have to manage the project. It was all new to me and quite fascinating. There are lots of good memories. If I have to choose, it's the victories. The best one was probably the Transat Jacques Vaux in 2011 with Jean-Pierre Dick on Verbach Peprek. To win with such a fine sailor, who's also a great guy, that was really fantastic. It's a great memory. I'm convinced that OSM is moving in the right direction with the new Ocean Masters Championship. It's good for the development of a mocker. It puts the skippers first, and alternating single-handed and double-handed races is interesting and important because the double-handed races are very intense. So alternating them is essential, whilst all the time remembering that the solos, and particularly the Vendée Globe, remains the flagship of the championship. The championship now has a meaning, and with the Matricock team, we're trying to participate in all the main events of the championship. The Vendée Globe works because it's a simple race. It's one sailor around the world. The concept is simple and we have very similar boats. But I think that the Vendée Globe is not enough. In order to have a great Vendée Globe, we need other races. But we have to make sure that those races get more coverage and are easier to understand for the public. If we succeed, we'll attract more media and that will allow a wider audience to follow the action. There's another important thing. I think we have this image of a popular sport, popular in the sense that people feel close to us. And to make sure, we have to keep this closeness with the public and make sure that our sport does not become too elitist.